How's it going guys? David Crandall here with another FL Studio tutorial that I think you guys will enjoy. A lot of people are looking for a good way to do the whole uh, dubstep wobbly bass effect. Now, I'm no dubstep guru, but I have found a way that you could do this for free if you have FL Studio. It's really easy. You don't need any fancy plugins, although I will be uh, using an extra plugin. It's an optional plugin, but I'll be using it for this particular tu particular tutorial. Uh, so let's get started. Right now, I've got this beat going right now. Anyway, it kind of goes on like that. Apart from that, I also have uh, a bass sound. Here it is. Okay, so that's my bass, and I'll go ahead and, and show you how I, I made this bass. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off the effects that I have on it. And uh, pull up the instrument. And I'm going to replace this since I'm starting over. And I'm doing a 3x OSC or 3 times oscillator. So, what we'll be doing is we'll be picking square waves here. And uh, you can actually pick whatever kind of wave you want, but uh, I'm going to do mostly square wave. So, you can hear that. That doesn't exactly sound like a bass sound. Not yet, anyway. We'll go ahead and take our course and bring it all the way down on all of these. And then to kind of give it a cool effect, we'll go ahead and rotate the fine on the first and second oscillators so it gets kind of a cool little chorusy sound. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I'm doing a bit of a different setup for this tutorial. So you might not be able to hear the panning, but we're going to go ahead and pan this a little bit to the left here. And then we'll pan the second one a little bit to the right. Kind of give it some stereo separation. Might go a little bit more here. And I'll go ahead and turn this one up here. Alright. So, I've put this in channel 5 of my mixer. So we'll pull up the mixer. And it's garbage day to day. Can you hear that garbage truck back there? Anyway, so here we are, channel 5, that's what I have it on. I'll pull up my parametric EQ. And basically, you could see what I've done is I've cranked up the lows and taken some of the low mids out, kind of that boomy sound I don't really like. Uh, and, and it kind of sounds like this now. I'll turn it off. And here it is on. So you can hear it's a bit bassier. Then I've added a chorus. Nothing specific here. I just kind of went through the presets and found one I liked. And then the last thing is I put on this LE456 plugin. I'll leave a link in the description to this plugin. It's it's an amp simulator. Uh, it's not so much a good guitar amp simulator in my opinion, but for electronic effects and stuff like that, it's pretty cool. Um, but basically, I've chosen channel B, cranked up the lows, put up some of the highs and the contour, made sure that we were bottom and bright were on so that we get some low end and that presence is there. And then also we made sure that we were in stereo so we still get that panning otherwise it's going to be in mono and you'll lose that panning that we set in our oscillator all right so there we go now our instrument sounds like this okay so before i started the tutorial i came up with a little bass line super simple it goes a little bit like this
So what we'll be doing is we'll go to our channel 5 here, our oscillator channel, and we will add a fruity fast LP. Okay, we're going to turn up the resonance a bit, and you can hear the difference. So we'll turn it up to there, and then we're going to check this out when I do the cutoff here. Maybe turn up the rest. So what we're going to do is now that we have our plug in here, we're going to make a new pattern. To do this, it's really easy to do. You just change your pattern to pattern 4 and then paint pattern 4 into your playlist and we can drag it out to the duration of the song or however long we'd like. So let's pull up our fast LP, right click on the cutoff and say edit events. Okay, so here we are, we've got the events thing open and let's just select the first two bars. Okay, so what we'll do is We'll open our playlist, and we'll also select the first two bars here. Okay, so now we can play back our song. Okay, so what we'll be doing to add the little wobbly effect is we will go to Tools and click on LFO. Now check this out, we've already got this little thing here, and uh, we'll go ahead and play and listen to how it sounds. Say accept, here we go. There we go, we already got a little bit of a wobble effect, but um, you know, it's, it's kind of plain, it's kind of boring, uh, so let's change it up a bit. So what we'll do, is we'll select the last half of a bar right here. We'll go back to our tools and click LFO. You can also press Alt O on your keyboard for a shortcut. We'll go ahead and do this. We will change the speed until there are four of these little hills, if you will. So let's go ahead and give that a listen. Press accept first. That's a big thing you gotta be be sure to do is always press accept. Uh, yeah, I'm tired, guys. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a listen. All right, pretty cool. Now let's do the second half. You know, let's do three in each bar. That might sound kind of cool. And we'll go ahead and play. All right. That's pretty much the wobble effect. Uh, sorry that kind of dragged out a bit. I'm on my break from work, so I just thought I'd throw in a tutorial for you guys. That's the wobble bass effect, and you can do a lot more uh, with it obviously. Um, another cool thing that you can do is change the wave type so you can kind of do these squares to where it kind of cuts off the sound at the bottom. So there you have it. That's the wobble bass and obviously you can do some other cool effects with it. Um, once you're done, if you want to copy and paste this uh, specific pattern, you can just shorten your pattern for here. Press shift on your keyboard, click, and it makes a copy, and there you go. So now we have our whole song here. Give it a listen here. <laughs>
so yeah, subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends who, who may be curious about making music. And uh, yeah, until next time, my name's David Crandall. This is the FL Studio School channel, and have fun making music.